In this video, what I'm going to be doing is an unboxing of the Parallax Bobot Robot Kit. And I mentioned this in the last video that I was trying to learn more about microprocessors. That's the reason I purchased this kit here. And a microprocessor is basically a miniature computer found in most electronic devices. And the version that I purchased was the USB version since none of my computers have a serial uh, port. But you can purchase the serial version of this kit as well. Um some components that microprocessors are used in are cell phones, alarm clocks, digital cameras, and basically any device that uses electronics. So you can really use the microprocessor for a lot of different things. So it's really a great uh, tool to have or uh, I guess skill to have. But in a way, here on the side, you can see it does come with a tutorial. You do have to build the robot. The, the robot doesn't come already built, which is great. And you also have to program it. And here on the back, you can see the different components that it comes with. Um, you can see some of the LEDs and some of the copper wires and stuff like that. Here on the back, you see you can learn about robotics, how easy it is to program, stuff about the hardware. And they also have like different support forums. I, I did go there and asked a couple of questions. The people seem very helpful as well. Uh, the overall price tag for this cost me $159, but uh, for the knowledge and the skills that you're getting from this and the fact that you get to build a pretty cool robot You can search YouTube for the Bobot and you can see a couple of um, Projects people have made with this but anyway, let's just get to the unboxing here and uh, Just give you a general overview of what comes with this kit So it seems we have a little guide here or I guess a little features list, parts list to check and I guess a certain unique number for your uh, robot kit. Here we have a guide for the robotics with the robot. Uh, it appears it requires or it's going to take about 40 hours to complete. And this kit is really recommended for ages 13 and up so don't feel like it's going to really be too advanced for you to learn about this. Um, this is the beginner's kit, which I like since I don't really know anything about microprocessors as far as coding and anything. So this looks to be pretty thick, about 300 and something pages. So that's going to be pretty fun and interesting. Here we have the Bobot accessory guide, which uh, just shows you different components and different uh, devices you can add on to the Bobot. So it really doesn't stop here with the creativity. They Parallax does um, carry different devices that you can add on to it to make the Bobot a little bit smarter. Here we just have the basic stamp 2 module and this is basically just the brains of the whole entire system. This is what you program and uh, which holds the storage and everything like that. And next uh, we have the board of education carrier board. This is where all your different electrical components go. This is where the power plugs into. This is how you turn it on, reset it, and this is where the basic stamp 2 module would actually slide into its slot. And in this other bag here, we have two servos. Uh, looks like a battery pack, but I'll get to that later on. Underneath the box, we have some more uh, components. We have some wheels and it seems like some kind of rubber bands, probably the rubber tires for the wheels, but that I'll open up as well in a minute here. Next we have the uh, USB data cable. Of course you're going to use this to program the, uh, the basic stamp 2 module. And here we have some kind of pin or some screwdriver parallax includes and here we have the software and the documentation drivers and different things you may need for the the microprocessor and as well as the Bobot kit last but not least we have the electrical components like the LEDs photo transistors different stuff you're gonna need for the Bobot kit as well as other uh, things you may want to do with the board of education so that's all that's in a box all right so now just to give you a little closer uh, view of the different components 
uh, this kit does come with continuous rotating servos um, which are good for wheels and uh, pulleys so of course since we have two wheels here we have two continuous uh, rotating servos so just to give you a little closer look uh, here they do have standard um, servos that you can buy from the uh, Parallax uh, website which are good for like uh, airplane flaps, bolt rudders and stuff like that but in a way here we have a battery pack which holds uh, four AA batteries uh, which should be about six volts so that you can use this portably you don't have it just have to have it just plugged into a wall outlet and here we have the chassis for the bolt bot it's just basically the body of the uh, the robot which holds everything together I think this is aluminum but I'm not really sure so now I just put that to the side next I uh, just go to the the wheels and the the tail wheel ball the tail wheel ball here which I pulled out is plastic it's not rubber but it just helps to keep the bolt bot uh, stable and here we have some um, rubber band tires this is this helps the the wheels to help traction so next let's just go to the USB data cable it's not really anything special about that of course you're going to use this to program again the basic stamp 2 module and next we have this uh, board of education carrier board as you can see you shouldn't use that until you uh, install the software first so uh, of course read all the labels on these uh, anti-static bags but as you can see here we do have some rubber feet which goes on the bottom just to help uh, keep that the pins on the bottom from uh, touching anything that it shouldn't be touching that may create a short circuit or anything but in a way we have this uh, basic stamp 2 module let me just take this out show you a little close up on this So as you can see, it should be uh, pretty self-explanatory where this uh, basic stamp two modules uh, slides into. It just basically goes into the slot to the right. And as you can see, they do have a little picture on it to help you uh, help guide you to putting that putting this uh, chip into the board. All right, so let me just take it out here, show you the pins and whatnot. So it's just basically like any other type of chip if you have seen chips. But in a way. As you see here at the top, it does have a little uh, spot to show you exactly where to line it up to on the board, as well as little uh, images as well. So you just basically put it here and just give it a little pressure, not much, and it should just go right in place. And that's all to it. I know this is just an unboxing, but this is kind of little simple stuff that I'll just go ahead and do. Uh, here again is the rubber feet. We'll just go ahead and put those on the back on the circles. And again, it, it has it printed out on the board where the rubber feet should go. So, it, like I said, this is a beginner's kit. Uh, they really explain everything about what you should do. So, uh, I recommend anybody out there that's uh, interested in learning about uh, robots or microprocessors to definitely uh, try to uh, obtain this board or this kit. the last one on here all right so that's basically it to this unboxing I put these rubber feet on uh, so I hope for some of you guys who may be interested in microprocessors or maybe this parallax boba kit uh, found this unboxing useful and feel free to let me know what you think uh, leave a comment here or there add me as a friend or answer any questions you may have I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible but thanks again for viewing and I will see you next time